while it's like that we'll concentrate on the brickwork we've got we've had our redesign now so that's the new size big window over there smaller window here big bifolds here we're back well it's past break time now my lovely wife Christine has been and delivered the camera for us which we forgot <coughs> it's our little compound um, yeah Thursday beautiful day oh well kill that radio please as I was saying Thursday <coughs> we're back got patching to do up there uh, you will have seen that already, that's yesterday's job but um, while it's like that we'll concentrate on the brickwork we've got, we've had our redesign now so that's the new size so I'll be getting that out with the rep saw and patching that up that's coming out no rush for that because they're still sat on it at the moment that's still got to go up there um, so there's no pillar that end either the um, Alex oh yeah this this is what the roof sits on this is like the wall plate that they use on this type of roof so that sits up there at lintel height so that's going that's going in that's going to a pocket into the wall so our oh, pad stones are only 150 here we tried to get them 250 but that needs to go into the wall to get rid of this pillar to make the doors bigger make that window bigger so yeah, it's quite a hefty piece of timber that. Don't forget it's a lightweight roof as well. That's probably deeper than most wall plates anyway. They're also gonna put an angle iron underneath the actual wall plate here, just to give it a bit of strength. So yeah, we've got um, 13 courses to go on top of this. So we've got, eh? Hey? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that's going. And then we've got a two brick by three brick pillar with a roughly two meter window at the front. I don't know, that, that's smaller, that's the two meters. Anyway, big window over there, smaller window here, big bifolds here, which are gonna be fixed against the house, which is better than a pillar, more strength, and they're gonna open in, so they're not foul in the back door. So um, by the time I edit this, it will, probably will have been started, so I'll be able to show you more of it. Same as the one we've just done, the job before this we're going to go back there and take more footage there so that'll, that'll show up in the video too so yeah, we need to crack on and get these to get the brickwork up today and then what everything else after that is a bonus because uh, we're not sure what the weather's going to be like we've got we've got a deadline to work so we've got to be done for sunday and we're on thursday now but we've also got another job to try and fit into so i'll leave you to it and um yeah a bit of time lapse for now
Right, we've had lunch. We uh, went for an early lunch because it's raining, but we, um, the brickwork's okay. Alex's just on the left hand side as you look at it from the front. I'm on this side, that's the new opening, soon to be adjusted. Uh, so we've got a lot of little fiddly bits to do yet. We've got all that patching to do uh, over the steel, under the steel pad stones, but we want to get the brickwork out of the way first while the weather's good. So we just got hop up set up to get the last five courses. Yeah. And then um, as soon as that's done we can drop inside and get the block work up, it's just a couple of pieces all the way up. Um, and that's it inside. Once that steel's up in there we can get rid of that and start getting this place back together. Alex can probably jump on that later and run that in. Um, yeah, so we'll leave that till last. Get these pillars finished, Alex can jump on that and I'll jump up there. So yeah, that's it for now, we'll, get, we'll catch this last little bit in time lapse while we get this these pillars finished off. See you in a bit.
There we go. Jobs are good and she needs to join to Alex's. Mine's done by the wet bricks, very wet bricks, so they're not jointed yet. See how dark they are, how wet they are. So yeah. Finito. Next job. Let's get that done while I've got the brown mixed on. So I'm gonna get these out now. And get that toothed in, put the house back in. And, and I'll just join to Alex's pillow up first. But we're getting there. Alex is gonna jump in there, get that block working. I'm doing this, then I'm jumping in there. Got our splits cut for above the steel. Pad stones are cut, all ready to go. So we'll get up there in a bit. So we'll catch you in a bit. Mix it. 
didn't leave me stealthy or anything. No. Well, Sorted. You'd never know. So now the brickwork is finished. Like, oh well, except for one brick. The bloody profile bracket put, took a big chunk out of the corner of this brick. Big nasty one. You couldn't get away with that one. So that's come out. So I'm just about to replace that. And then now, now the brickwork's finished. Once that's done, Alex just done with the block work now. You can't run that in because that's in the way on top of the board. So everything affects everything else. So it's uh, we're grinding to a halt again. But it's, what is it now, about half two? Uh, nearly three o'clock. 20 to three. So probably got 
got two hours left, so let's see what we can get cracked in. Alex is nearly up there. I'm up and up there once this breaks in, what you have to wait. Take, measure. Um, uh, you were cutting a block, weren't you? Is it down there under the insulation? Yeah. Right. From, from what I'll do now is, I'll, before I up up there, I'll get the rest of the cuts done with the grinder. So we're not messing about, you can just build it. Right, so yeah, let's get this brick in and get these cuts done. So five to five and the camera always makes it look lighter than it actually is but it's going dark. Luckily we've got um, security lights on the house which are a big help and the old the old Milwaukee lanterns come back out to play which has been a big help as well. So yeah, um, this is just here to block the hole up at the moment. It's the old lintels doing nothing. There's our steel and that steel's bolted to um, a sole plate which has got the joist hangers on which has got the joist attached and then we've got these holes for our threaded bar so that's going to go fixed at the back fixed there fixed against the back of this steel fixed against this steel so it's all held we can actually do it on this job because we can get our hand in the gap because there's going to be a, a gap between the, the steels last job you couldn't get your hand in so we couldn't do it so anyway i've covered this end up for the night and this end Pad stones in. It's 250 seating on the inside because um, it hasn't got a piece of timber coming through here. The uh, the wall plates coming in here and sitting on there to do away with the pillar. So the roof sat on the actual house. So got rid of the pillar. Again, 150 chopping down, coming out in line with that basically. So yeah, that's ready. That's all pointed up, ready for tomorrow and then we've got a 30 mil piece of block pushed in pointed tight so it's all so all we've got left tomorrow when we can see what we're doing is the best of that so done up to the done up to the so we've just got between the acros to do now and then obviously when that acro comes out patch that hole but these acros you could take them out of the outside skin because this this is so hard. It, it, it supports itself, the render would support itself. We've had a bit of movement on the inside, but that's to be expected when you're taking all that out and the thermalite blocks and what have you. But um, once it's all propped up, we'll just repair the crack. Uh, yeah, so that's us for today. All finished. Just about make out the uh, front. So we've got those the two pillars up today and back them up. Got all the cuts done, those cuts along the those cuts along the top of that wall are to go on the inside. The 150 cuts to bring everything up level. As you can see the 150 cuts to bring up level. So there's not actually a lot to do tomorrow. It just depends on the weather. So we've got this to this this to finish, 
steel to go in, everything to be bolted up. We've got the wall to build, but the wall isn't critical. If we don't get the wall done before the weekend, it's not too bad. We can come back to do that. And then, yeah, we've got to um, just get bring some course and bricks tomorrow to top off those pillars. So, another dark one, but um, we've done okay. It's been a real slog today. Uh, oh yeah, the um, you'll see you see the pillar there has been repla repaired. We really saw that on time lapse, so yeah, not worth filming anything else because it's dark. So we'll see you tomorrow.